Uh, this is the NTC Money Library. It is what we call user-friendly library. User-friendly library because students can access whatever they want easily and they don't have to be stressed over many things. And one of the things I do here to make my library user-friendly is try to be as approachable as much as possible. So these students can come in and can talk to me at any time they come in. So they feel comfortable when they are actually around me. So in case they want an information material that they can't find, I am able to help them find it. I'm able to create for them an environment that they can be able to, to read the, the notes that they have where they, there's peace and quiet. They make sure we regularly clean and dust our library because we believe when the library environment is dirty, users cannot feel comfortable to use it. This current library is going to assist the students even to get books which we don't have here. They are going to get what we call electronic books and because we have moved away from traditional system where you only depend on hard copy books. We are going to have internet, we are going to have computers and uh, we are also going to have Koha. Koha is a database management system that libraries use to manage their resources, especially electronic resources. You can know what is in the library, what is out, what you can check out, what you can borrow. We've organized the library education or orientation for the library users. Because we are planning now when the new users come and even the old library users because they have not been exposed to the library management system. So we need to bring them on board by teaching them what the system involves and how they can use the system. The library is a granary of information for students because to pass your examination well, to be knowledgeable, you need to read a lot of materials from books, from internet, and from whatever collections are there in the library. This is a teacher training college, so they train teachers and these, these teachers do research, and they need to use the internet, they need to have a diverse collection to use in their research. We'll be partnering with other libraries, uh, as well as um, the Uganda Library Information Association, so the students will be able to get information from other places even while they are here. For example, if we are partnering with, uh, say, a library in Kampala, they can use the internet, get information that is in that library without necessarily having to go there. We are the go between the middlemen between the, the, the students and, and the staff who impact the knowledge. So we try as much as possible to bridge the two to make sure that what the lecturer has given the students for an exercise can actually be achieved using the library. So we help the students to acquire these information materials. We help them go about the exercises, even the research that they have to do, we always try and match, as much as possible to give them the guidelines, the tips on how to successfully complete the, the given task. Our students produce very good research that people would wish to see, but they are unable to see it because they cannot access this library. But if we digitize our content, people will be able to access the research that is produced in this college and really I feel that research would play a very big role in even changing this country.